I am crazy. It's official. There's paperwork on it. There's graphs and everything, so it, it must be true. And let me tell you, it's a real load off my mind. I mean, it relieves a lot of responsibility for me. I always have an excuse if I feel like talking to myself or crawling around during a business meeting and barking, well, then so be it. I'm bonkers. It's very convenient and fun. And I certainly have to be crazy living in this world to keep from blowing my brains out. Being insane allows me to be who I want to be. There are no longer any rules. I'm crazy, and I will become World Emperor. Even if it's simply because I'm convinced that I'm World Emperor. For all that we have is our perception. And whatever we perceive to be reality is, in fact, our reality. You want to get into quantum physics and all of that business where we start talking about the fact that we, as observers, in fact actually manipulate and manifest reality. We are intricately and subconsciously involved with the reality process. Once we know this, we can start to see what's happening all around us. Those who are in control are using this information to manifest a reality that is most advantageous for them. They introduce a point of view which may or may not have anything to do with what is actually happening in the world, and they reinforce it with a growing opinion through media. And what's interesting is the fact that the more people who believe these lies, the more real these lies become. Opinions or ideas become reality. Something imagined actually becomes tangible. This is happening in today's world. And with our own human inclinations towards fear, the majority of what is focused on and agreed on is fear-based. And this is encouraged. Because when people are afraid, they can be controlled. When a human being is afraid, the sensory input and brain patterns the breathing and physicality of the body becomes less efficient. It stops working at its peak. It begins operating poorly. And as a result, a person is making poor decisions. Decisions that can be easily influenced. But apparently, simple influence isn't enough because they have begun to introduce biological weapons into society through fast food milk, the chemtrails in the sky. Yes, they are working overtime to keep us under control because we pose a threat. We pose a threat with our minds for we have the power to change the world and they know this. With a vision, a focused vision, a unified vision, we can reform this world into a better place.